we're live now. So uh, I guess we'll just start this off. I'll introduce myself, then you can introduce yours. I'm Dustin Jackson. I am the owner of Detail Bookie, which is a software company that is designed for detailers. Um, Ryan, you want to go ahead and tell sure, them who yeah, you are? Man, I'm, my name is Ryan Egan. I'm sales manager here at Detail Bookie. Uh, I've come on a few months ago, and man, this thing has really taken off since we started. And we got ourselves a fantastic product. Man. Yeah, we really do. Um, and just so you guys know, some of the background of Detail Bookie and where it came from. Uh, so I own a detail shop called EZN. We're in Mobile, Alabama. We have a shop and we are also on site. So we have road crews. Um, we have, generally speaking, about a 12-man uh, shop, 12-man operation. Um, like everyone else, um, I'm sure we started small and kind of built our way to that point. Um, some of the pains that were involved in that growth process were software related. Um, we had issues with scheduling, issues with following up with customers, uh, keeping track of the details and so forth so on. Um, we looked for other softwares that were available out there a few years ago and just, you know, kind of struck out. Um, Nothing kind of encompassed everything that you needed. At, at all, really. Um, you had Google calendars and you had some QuickBooks uh, features that were a help, but nothing really to help manage the day-to-day -day operation. And so we, you know, we decided to go in and build. Uh, we hired a developer uh, to work side by side with us. We knew how important it was going to be to our growth and what we wanted to do. So we were willing to commit that uh, time and money into it. How long of the process was that? Uh, so the original build version one, quote unquote, was about a six month process. Um, and it actually took longer than that. We, uh, when I set out looking for developers, we got three quotes in. And the first quote, uh, the, the, the first person that we went with was the cheapest. And we went through a build with them for about three months and it was a flop. The end product was just awful. Um, so we had to go back and to look at the drawing board and, and, and that's how we ended up with Mitch. You know Mitch, you work with him every day. Um, and, and as awesome as he is, so we had to go back with our tail between our legs and, um, and, and say, hey man, we, we ch went this other route, we failed, and here we are back. Are you willing to take on this project? This and is still just software for your company, though. This isn't. Yes, this is what we call version one. Um, this was software that was built specifically to run our business here uh, at EZN. Um, I think in the back of my mind, I probably knew that I was building something bigger than what what you know that only I was going to be using. But uh, as far as anyone else was concerned, um, it was only for us. Uh, so we got with Mitch. Um, he, he, he took the project on and it was about a six month build and we got to the end of it and it was just, it was unbelievable. Um, so it certainly translates to all detailed businesses I've seen. It, um, yeah, it does. Um, it, it really does. And it's because when we were building it, as we were going through issues that we were having, we know that these guys are having the same issue. They're in the same line of business. So, you know, that's, that's where it really comes into play. So version one was built out and we ran version one for a year. We ran my business with it. Okay. And so all along the way, Mitch, we kept Mitch on, on, you know, on payroll per se. And he was just constantly improving, constantly improving. Well, we got eight or nine months into it and I presented Mitch um, with the opportunity that maybe we should take this thing to market. Maybe we should get it, you know, what would it take for us to be able to take it to other detailers? And um, that was, uh, that, you know, he, he, he expressed to me all the, all the things that were going to be involved to get it to that point. And it was a monumental task. It was another big uh, task that we had to, to overcome. Um, but, you know, so we decided to make that call and that was been about a year ago. And, uh, and, you know, so the rest is history as far as that build's concerned. As far as version one, um, that's what got us to this point. Absolutely. Well, I think uh, one of the things that separates the software that I've seen from everything else on the market is some of the main features. And yeah. I think um, really dialed into some things that other softwares didn't even touch. Mm -hmm. um, I know one thing that that really translates well to everybody is the way that we set up the pricing. Yep. So the dynamic structured pricing, you have different vehicles, of course, different sizes that are going to be priced differently. They are. So being able to keep that consistent, yet not overload the person when they come to, let's say, your booking site to get a little bit more information. They want to see, you know, pricing 
specific to whatever they're they're wanting to get detailed, but they don't want to necessarily be in you know, bombarded with yeah. this stuff. And let me tell you, so the you know the reason that pricing is done so well is because that was one of the main issues that EZN had from Jump Street. We were running on tickets, basically brochures uh, that a customer would come on site and look at and try to make a selection. And it was too much information to give them. So you couldn't have a price breakdown for every size vehicle on paper. I mean, it would take 10 or 12 sheets of paper to get this pricing menu. So when we tackled version one, the project version one, the, the first main issue was pricing. How can we give dynamic pricing? How can we give pricing to the customer that's, that's you know, relative to their vehicle size. And so when we, when we conquered that task, we knew that we had something really special. Um, so, you know, pricing is an issue for all of detailers. And, you know, it's not a one size fits all. It's really not. And so we do our best um, as, you know, version two is rolled out and now it's available to other detailers. We've done our best to give them a good start, to give them a set of defaults and not just this blank canvas and says, figure it out. It's this, you know, canvas that's got the, the, the lines drawn on it and you color it in. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know? You're able to use the software right out the gate if you wanted to with the default packages in place. Absolutely. You know, but for your particular, you know, location, I mean, prices mm -hmm. can be different if you're in California, New York versus that's right. Alabama where we're at, you know, so you have the ability to really dial them in. And it's very easily done. It's not super complex. It's not, you know, you don't have to have a, an engineering degree or a development degree to, to, to figure these things out. You got, you know, tables that go in and you can really see the pricing as a whole and go in and edit that pricing, customizing it to fit your needs. And so prices do change based on geography and, 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 and based on, you know, quality or production. You know, everybody's kind of got their own feel of where, they're, where they sit in the market. And our software accommodates to that. It allows them to go in there and adjust that price according to you know where they want to be, Absolutely. or where they're where they need to be really. What do you think the second biggest thing that the software provided for just for Easy In, you know, for your company? Um, so specific to Easy In is organization. Um, you know, I'm very I'm, I'm a very organized, structured person, and when I don't have that in my life, it's kind of turmoil to me in my mind. And so we were basically going back before you know pre-software days. We were hanging tickets on a on a uh, dry erase board that was labeled, you know, Monday through Friday. We would pull those tickets out, go out to the field, do the work, you know, check off the tickets. Well, you had um, issues there where tickets could be lost, tickets be, could be misplaced, customers didn't know when they were going to pick up, we didn't know when it was going to be ready. Well, so what the software does is allows us to organize those tickets onto a calendar. It allows us to spread those tickets out, those details out, on a calendar to where we can dial in and give that organize, organized feel to the customer. Sure. So it just translates perfectly into that. Um, what was the process of follow-ups uh, before when you just had you uh, pen and paper? So follow-ups were non-existent. We were living like most dealer, detailers do on a prayer that the customer was just happy with their detail and they'll come back when they feel like it needs to be detailed again. But that business model isn't scalable and isn't it is efficient. It's, it's, um, if you can follow up automatically with, with the information that you know, if you had someone that was sitting there on phone calling these customers on a regular basis, you know you could fill the calendar with your current customer base and you weren't always chasing new customers. The problem is, is no detailer can afford somebody to just sit on the phone all day and return phone calls or, or, or call customers back and hope for a detail. Sure. So we built into the system uh, a way to set up parameters that would follow up with these customers after the detail, after it was done. You know, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we've done a great job. We're going to send a review request or a, um, yeah, so a review request and uh, survey. a survey. Thank you. I just lost my train of thought. So, or, or a survey or, or both. Um, and, and we're going to look at those survey answers and make sure that our customer service is where it needs to be, that our, that our productivity and that the results are where they're, they're supposed to be. Okay. Then the second follow-up is, you know, uh, making sure that everything went well and that they were happy with the product. The third follow-up is about when can, we, when can we see you again? You know, these maintenance packages that are on the detail, you know, that are for their vehicle are what's needed. So if you see a guy once every two or three years, you know this car or truck's going to be trashed when you get it back. But if you're seeing them monthly, you can offer them a lot better service, 
at a lot cheaper rate and uh, stay on top of these things. And it makes the job easier. It makes it. It does. It makes it much easier, and it's a and it's a much better job. Right. You you don't mind. You know when you're seeing something on a regular basis. You don't mind, it's easy to go that extra mile. It's easy to go that extra step. So if they're not paying for, say, a seal, um, but you've, you know, the car comes in, it's already clean, we're just maintaining, you don't mind going in and throwing something in. Sure. Um, you know, you, it, it allows the opportunity for, you know, those highly customer service type things to be done because you have the time to do them. Right. And that's all follow up, you know. Um, along with that same sentence, though, is you got these appointment reminders too. So when they've already scheduled their detail, you know, weeks out, it's, it's sending that reminder out. And I know as well as anybody, guys, these detailers don't have the resources or the availability to somebody to sit there and just remind people all day about the detail they have coming up. Right. So this is all automated through the system. It, sol it solves multiple problems just within the notifications. So you've got no-shows that aren't happening anymore. Correct. The, the follow-ups. Did you guys ever lose a ticket back in the day? Oh, like, man. We, we lost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Guys show up. We, uh, we lost. Yeah, we lost tickets. I mean, we would have a, uh, you know, one, one example really stands out is we would have, like, so we do boats here, um, and we have three or four blue sea hunts, Okay. A sea hunt center console uh, fishing boat but we would go outside and there'd be three or four blue sea hunts and there'd be three or four tickets that say blue sea hunt but nothing else definitive about it so you know you had to roll the dice and hope that you're doing the right job to the right vehicle with our system now we can track hole ids we can take before pictures so we can go to that my guys can go out there on site once the once the job's checked in um they can take pictures attach it to that so when it's that time to do that job they literally pull up the ticket. They can see the picture of the vehicle they're supposed to be working on, or the boat they're supposed to be working on. They can see the whole ID sure. um, and match it up. Right. So it takes those those issues that we had time and time again um, and, and solves the problem. It makes you a little bit more professional. In the it makes us a lot of more professional. <laughs> is, you know, the justification for you know the fees a lot of times is, is to that, that level of professionalism that separates you know detailers from a car wash. And, so, so that's exactly right. What it does is it allows you to put your best foot forward as the detailer and the more professional look. And so customers don't have the opportunity to judge, you know, so so basically, hey, I do the best work, but, you know, maybe they have some reservations about booking with me because my price is high and I've just sent them a text kind of telling them what I'm going to do. Right. Or maybe I didn't even send the text. Maybe I forgot. And so now I'm charging these high end prices, but you know, I don't have the follow-up that I needed to really send it home with that customer. Or one of the features that we have here, and I don't know how much we're supposed to divulge right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell it anyway, um, is we have a, a, an estimate approval process. So here at EZN, when we have an estimate, and we use a dollar amount um, that we ask for approval, um, but you can do it on any, any, um, any job whatsoever, but as an estimate approval, and you can, with a click of a button, send that estimate out. It's a professional, estimate that goes to their phone they click it in they log in and they can see exactly what you're what you plan on doing to their job Fully the pro optimized. yeah yeah absolutely and then they can click approve then you're going to get a notification comes back as the detailer and says yeah this job's been approved go ahead and schedule it that's probably the, the one of the favorite things that from selling the software is the the look on their face when they see the the itemized invoice and go wow there's there's no doubt about that that is professional yes yeah, it, it gives that um it it gives that validation of the stuff that you know you're going to do to the customer. So now we say, okay, you know, we, we, it's too much for me to sit here and tell you all I'm going to do. You just have to trust that I'm going to do all this stuff. And now it says, here's a list of it. You know, this is what I plan on doing for this amount of money. And it, it, it gives you that reassurance, that professionalism out to the customer. So when the customer looks at it, it'd be like grabbing a cheeseburger from McDonald's and not knowing what was going to come on it. You know, you just got to trust McDonald's is going to get it right. We all know how that ends up. <laughs> so, uh, so a detailer has now can send out the list of what all we're going to do. Right. And that, that opens the door for communication between customer and detailer to say, hey, you know what? Maybe I don't need my interior shampoo. Maybe we could spend that money on wax or protection or ceramic coat or what, whatnot. So, um, th and they, these are things that are enabled through the software. Without, without software, these things are almost impossible and I can... I can definitively say that because I've ran a business without it. Right. And I know exactly how hard it is. And I had, I had people in place that could have made these calls and done these things, 
but it still wouldn't happen every time. So. And I'm sure with pricing out jobs, that's probably something that you now that you have the software in place that allows you the ability to pass it along. Absolutely. To somebody else and actually feel comfortable knowing that they're going to price out the job just like you would. That's exactly right. And it also gives the customer. So with the booking site, that, that's something that else that comes with the software is you got a booking site that shows your menu to the customer. So they can kind of shop your menu, see what they think they may need, see the services that you offer and the prices, the, the, the ballpark pricing that you might offer for these services, and then make a decision based on what their needs are. Then you go in and look at that estimate, you take that vehicle in and go through your inspection process and make sure what they've selected works. But instead of you just kind of rambling off prices or them wondering what you charge, it gives the menu out, you know, to them out front. And that way you're not always having to come up, waste your time giving an estimate on something when people are out there just price shopping. Absolutely. And I feel like that's something that's absolutely necessary and important whenever you're, you know, spending this kind of money is making sure that you're getting, you know, a, a good deal based on the competition around you. Yep. I, I mean, I've also talked to a lot of these other and honestly, competition really isn't um, a driving factor, you know, or at least the ones that are established that's it, right it's not you know it's it's consistency it's quality and you know being able to offer that to every person that comes in the door not you know without having that yeah that 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 lag so, yeah so and and competition is real in the detail world and and detailers are quick to kind of work against each other and in in reality they should be working with each other when the as these systems and and we're not the only software out there um when when i came out with we're detailed bookie when i came out with our software there was some other softwares that hit the ground right about the same time we had been working on ours years prior um but there's some other softwares that came out there and as people start to make transition from pen and paper to software you'll see a lot of these these issues that are that are in the detail business start to work themselves out when you start to display pricing as a menu then it's then it's conversation starts um, you know because you know some of our local detailers here that we that that use the software and you know how we deal with competition i mean we're friends absolutely you know we offer advice to local guys but you know absolutely and we take advice as well i mean we communicate on a daily basis um about things that are going on and it's and it's smart there's a reason that walgreens rite aid and cvs all end up on the same corner right. you know what i mean we're all splitting the load here and if we're all in it together then we can get our pricing on the same page then we can get our you know quality on the same page and then if there's somebody that comes along we're, we're a lot stronger together sure. than we are single oh, absolutely so. you're not dropping your prices every time somebody comes up to you you know so that's right. this guy offers it less well you don't feel like you have to do that um you you know you have confidence that you know the guy down the street is charging something comparable to yours now he may be cheaper at a specific service than you are um and that's okay that's good that's healthy um competition yeah um, that's that's just business. Right. He may be able to offer a service cheaper than I can on a specific item, but at, on the grand scheme of things, overall, that we're we're very comparable in price, and yeah. and that's possible only because the software displays it. So if you had a 12-page pricing manual to go through, I mean, and and now I make a change, and so I got to take it over here to you know the local guy down the street and show him all these pages you know that's not going to happen that, that, that never happens no, that's a lot of time too that you're sure wasting on something like that. and you're less likely to audit things like that mm -hmm. you're less likely to go through a list of prices um if it's not easy to go through sure. um so one of the habits that we're in here at easy is we're kind of always auditing we're always looking at our prices. And, and so right now we're in a little bit more in depth. So for 30 minutes each day, I sit down and pick a vehicle type and I go through each package that's available to that vehicle type. It takes me, you know, it literally takes me about 10 minutes when I set aside 30. And I just go through and, and kind of, you know, make sure that what we're offering is fair, is right. This list of services are correct. The add-ons are there and, and, and everything's good. And it's just a good, healthy way to know your pricing inside and out and to make sure that it's correct. And we didn't even mention durations on packages. So like with the, you know, all the different add-ons and whatnot, we've said duration time. So you know whenever you're pulling it onto your calendar, we've got the drag and drop calendar feature. Yep. Um, so when you know you're pulling it down and dragging it to your calendar, it's gonna take up the appropriate amount of time. So you're able to schedule the maximum amount of details without overbooking yourself. That's right. Or, or at least, you know. So, yeah, and when you say duration, that's basically the time that it takes you to do a job. And, and we use the term duration because that's, that's what it is, the, the, the time that we're using. 
So you have an opportunity when you're setting your prices to set the duration, set the time that you're using. And that, that can generally be done pretty easily by determining what you need to make per hour. You know, if you have an idea of what it is that you need to make per hour to cover your expenses, to cover your overhead, and to cover your labor rate, then you can take a calculation and say, okay, if this is a $300 job and I want to make $100 an hour, this is a three-hour job. And so you have the ability to go in there and schedule those all the way down to the minute to match the amount of money that you're going to make. And it's going to give you the best representation on your calendar of the time slot that you have to get this job done to make the amount of money that you want to make. That's right. So, Man, that's, <laughs> that's revolutionary in a sense. It, you know, it is, and it's, it, it's really simple. Right. Um, it, was, it was complex to, to, to get implemented, but it's simple when you think about sure. it. And, and it was necessary. You know, how can you have a, a time, a duration set, if you're running off these pieces of paper that just say, you know, this job's normally $185, oh, but now I gotta send it over to my detailer and tell him he's gonna take 185 minutes. It just doesn't work like that. Definitely. So some of the other features I guess we got going on really, um, this is an all-encompassing software. This is gonna cover every aspect of your business. It's more than just a scheduler, it's more than just a CRM. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we certainly have a, a lot of different a lot of different options in place to to help out with marketing, and that's something that we're you know, uh, it's an evolving software as well. Absolutely, and uh, definitely really going to be tackling that you know in, in the future versions. Yeah, um, I mean we have cool stuff going on. I mean that's the thing about this software is we've had full staff on board every day working to make this thing better. And what's the next best thing? What's the next step? That's right. You know, um, it's not like that we just agree that we have the best around and then we stop. We know we have the best round and we're going to continue to get better. That's right. And I tell you, everybody that I've been able to put on this software, the best, you know, uh, I, I guess testimonial is this mm -hmm. software has made me money. Absolutely. I mean, everything. changing from, lives. Uh, I had a guy who hadn't charged any mileage. You know, mm -hmm. he didn't, no, no fee for mileage. Um, the software calculates, you know, one way mm -hmm. from wherever you're leaving, wherever your shop is, if you're doing mobile. And with that, you're, I mean, 1700 bucks he, he estimated just in the time frame you know that that he had been using the software money left on the table money left on the table absolutely and the thing about that is is so that's money left on the table but to e to implement something like that without software it, it's it's very difficult to do oh, yeah. you know so now i'm going to go to google maps i'm going to search this guy's address i'm going to give him a mileage and then i'm going to tell him oh my mileage rate by the way is two dollars not uh two dollars a mile yeah. It's unprofessional and it's probably not going to happen. But when, when a computer tells you so, sure. when, you're in, when it's on your invoice, that customer now knows that that's what, that's what everybody else is paying. You know, that's what this guy charges and it's not negotiable. Um, you know. And how about the deposit feature? That's kind of another thing that really is going to save money in the, in the sense you're not going to have many people that are going to cancel or, you know, last minute um, no show when they're having to put a deposit down. I mean, deposits in itself is like a whole ball game. Right. You know, to be able to request deposits and not have that uncomfortable, you know, conversation or really have to chase it down sure. um, is monumental. It's, it's game changing. It does minimize the no-shows or the cancellations because now they got some skin in the game. Absolutely. They're now they're committed. I mean, they're not even having to, you know, give you the credit card number or anything like that. All it's suitable and square. And the system's so flexible that if they book online, they have to they they have to pay a deposit if that's the way you set it up. Now you can have a deposit-free shop, and our system accommodates that perfectly. Sure. But you know, we suggest that you take a deposit. You can do a minimum dollar amount or a, per, percentage. Or a percentage. Right. You know, pretty simple, but. When you book jobs through the back end, sometimes you have a customer that this is my guy, look, I've been doing detailing him for 10 years, no way I'm charging him a deposit. Okay, I don't care if he books a $5,000 job. Uh, he, you know, we're doing this boat this year, we're ceramic coating it, it's gonna be $6,500 and um, no way I'm charging him a deposit, doesn't matter the amount. We don't have to send a deposit request. Now I got a new customer that comes on, he's got a $150 job and he books through the back end, he calls me or he texts me and I says, sure, I'm gonna send you over my deposit request. And it goes straight to his phone, it's a text message that he can then link and pay it. Absolutely. And, and so now this guy's got skin in the game and he knows I'm serious about it. Absolutely. And that's something also in this day and age with COVID, I know we've all struggled with it. I'm sure everybody out there has uh, had Absolutely. With it. Yeah. I mean, this is preventing you from having actually, you know, 
take somebody's car. It's contactless. contactless. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So it, it, it provides the safety of knowing that you're not handling this guy's card, this guy's check, this guy's cash. Absolutely. And he can do it straight from his phone. The beauty of the software is we don't retain that information either. We pass that off to Square, which handles it securely. Absolutely. And then, then basically just makes the deposit into your account. Sure. So, you know, so Detail Bookie's not responsible for this card number. Nor Square is. is. Yeah, yeah, nor is the, the, nor is the detailer. Absolutely. So we have these things set up in place. And by the way, within that, you got tips. Right. Okay, so no longer are you holding the phone, turning the phone around and saying, can you add your tip? Or, or waiting for that uncomfortable, let me make change. Right. You send a deposit request, and within that, it's got a tip, uh, uh, you know, a, a place for tips. Do you see that's increased tips? Or is Exponentially. It yeah. Exponentially. Everybody, I mean, when you give them the option and you've done a great job, they're inclined to tip. Right. Okay? If you make it uncomfortable, they're heavily inclined. Sure. So... Um, it's, it's, it's just another one of those things that you could literally pay for the software for the year off of a week's worth of tips. Um, so. That's right. I think we're getting ready to, to close this first one out. This is uh, definitely a fun, fun. Absolutely. I mean, we, us. yeah, we, we got more to come though, guys. Kind of knock off the cobwebs and get used to this. I mean, this is like the new, uh, day and age where everything's zoom, everything's like remote. So we're getting used to this. I hope that we provided some value. And if we did, we'd love to see you come back. Um, I don't know our schedule, but they, do we have a schedule posted up somewhere? Or I think it's in our um, in our roundtable meeting room that you can see our you can see our schedule. I believe it's one o'clock this afternoon that we'll be back on, and we're, we're going to continue to dig deep. I mean, we're going to get we're going to get knee deep in some of this stuff, and we hope that some of it helps you. Um, you know, uh, understand where we're coming from and understand who we are. And we're going to be looking at the software too, so don't think you'll have to look at our faces for, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to show you some software. We're going to show you some invoices, the calendar, man. We're going to show you notifications. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Look, look forward to it. Uh, really enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of this and uh, stay tuned. We'll Check be back. Out on Facebook, detailboogie.com. That's right. Follow us on social media. We'll see you soon. All right. Thanks a lot.